So here we have a humerus. Um, basically, we have a couple of landmarks here, so bear with us. We have the head of the humerus, which fits into the glenoid cavity of the scapula. And then we have two necks, actually. The neck that's closest to the head is termed your anatomical neck. Just going to go all the way around here. That's your anatomical neck. Now, where we have the most breaks is actually at this point, and this is called the surgical neck because if it breaks really badly, we're going to have need to have surgery here. So surgical neck, anatomical neck. Um, after this, we have two tubercles, a greater and a lesser tubercle. Basically, we have a greater tubercle right here and a lesser tubercle right here. Then we have our bicipital groove or intertubercular sulcus. Better way, it's just bicipital groove because the biceps tendon runs through here. So bicipital groove, it's a groove in between the two tubercles, and it's just right there. After the bicipital groove, we have the deltoid tubercle. Now, this one is a fake bone, but you can actually see the little bump. On a real bone, it's even easier to spot. You try to want to go a little bit halfway down the, the humerus, and you'll see a little bump there. This will be actually your deltoid tubercle, okay? Um, we have our shaft, which is just the whole length of the bone, and we have the spiral groove. This is uh, probably going to be tricky just because it's not a real bone, but you're going to find it on the posterior side. I'm trying to look at it in the light. It's going to be kind of like a, a groove that's going like in a spiral. Okay. Um, we then have our medial and lateral epicondyles. So if we flip this down to the distal end, we have our medial epicondyle. We know this is medial because the head of the humerus fits in to the scapula here. So this is the medial and this is the lateral epicondyles. Uh, if we flip it posterior, we have the olecranon fossa where the olecranon fits for the ulna. We have our capitulum. Now, to know capitulum, it's basically where it articulates with the radius. Capitulum is a little ball. So this is the actual capitulum where it connects to the radius. This is the trochlea. This is medial, next to the medial epicondyle, and it articulates with the trochlear, trochlear notch of the ulna. And then here we have our coronoid fossa, and coronoid fossa. And this is a uh, distal anterior side. So a lecranon fossa, coronoid fossa, we have the, capi uh, the trochlea, excuse me, trochlea, capitulum, medial and lateral epicondyles. Uh, the medial and lateral supracondylar ridges, if you just take the medial epicondyle, flip it over on the posterior side, just follow that nice ridge there. That's the supracondylar ridge, the medial one, and this is going to be the lateral one. Now, now that you know all these landmarks, it's actually going to be easier to determine left or right. If this is head fitting into the scapula on this side, it's going to be your right uh, humerus. Another way to realize this is your trochlea is medial because your ulna is medial. So it's also another way to determine that.